What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to create a MySQL database in AWS for free. So first things first, you need an AWS free account. And yeah, that means you have to put in your credit card. But um, yeah, they ask you for your credit card just because in case if you use the resources more than the free amount, um, they'll just start charging your credit card. But I believe they give you a warning beforehand as well. It's just like you have a certain amount of resources that you can use that they allow you to use for free and honestly they're pretty generous so i wouldn't stress too much about it they give you quite a bit especially in your first 12 months they really let you experiment and use this because they you know they want people to be successful create like a business off it and then start charging the business big bucks if you think about it anyways too much ramble let's uh, let's do the uh, MySQL database. So first things first, you got to do, uh, type in the top left hand corner here, type in RDS, which is the relational database service that AWS has. Um, so just click here and then scroll down and create database. This is the option we want to select here. And when we have the option to select what kind of database, I want to explain a few things. This is just going to take a little bit to load. Okay, so um, you'll see that there's some options here. There's MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle DB, PostgreSQL, I don't know how to say that, and then Microsoft SQL Server. So I use this at work, Microsoft SQL Server, and I actually wanted to use this in a personal project. Come to find this is actually the only one where if you select this, it costs money. There's no free version for this. I think this is Microsoft just trying to stick it to Amazon, you know, because they have their own cloud service. But if you scroll all the way down, all the way down, don't even worry about the settings yet. You'll see estimated monthly costs, about 34 bucks USD a month to host a SQL Server database um, in AWS. But some good news, the rest of these, you can host them for free if you're in the free account, if you have a free account. So if I go down to MySQL right here, or go up to, and I scroll all the way down, you'll see that there's actually no charges here. And that's because I can host this for free, especially if I use the community edition too, which I'll show you really quick. Um, so let's just do some settings here. Let's say I create, because this is the title of the video, right? MySQL. So um, I'm creating a MySQL database. Um, templates, choose a sample template that will meet your case. Um, let's do the free tier. So this uh, takes away the options here. It obviously picks the single DB instance. Doesn't even let you pick anything else because you want the free tier, right? So it takes away all options that you can select. That'll cost you money, which is nice. Um, so you want to create a master username. This is to log into your database. So obviously probably not the best to keep it as admin, but we're going to keep it as admin for this video. So I'm going to do Okay. Okay. Just type in a password. Make sure you remember this. Um, and you can also auto generate one. But, anyways, continuing down, this is automatically selected for you again because it's the free tier. And continuing down, so here is where we select the resource. So, choose whether to connect. Yeah, so I'd actually recommend connecting to an EC2 compute, uh, compute resource. Um, just create its own resource, its own EC2 instance that way. And you can select one this way. Um, I already have an EC2 instance created, but I'm not going to select one. I want it to create its own one, actually. Actually, no. This is actually something different. Sorry for confusing you guys. This is connecting for a compute resource. For the sake of this, we're not gonna do this right now. That overcomplicates things. Um, scrolling down, public access, no, we don't want public access. And then um, VPC security firewall, just choose the existing because AWS provides you with some security by default. It's very good, just use it unless if you have your own special things that you wanna use and you can go with that. But again, simplicity, so just continuing along. Leave this at default availability zone. Now you can actually select like based on your location. So I'm close to US East and then you can select from the US East locations as well, but no preference really. Um, no need to create an RDS proxy. This is additional things. Um, and then 
yeah okay so password identification or password authentication this will just use the password you entered earlier here and the account name so that's the simplest way to log in if you do IIA, IAM database authentication you'll have to go in AWS and add IIA, IAM uh, roles like you have to add a user you have to give them specific uh, permissions so it's more complicated just leave it at the basic password authentication selection here and if we scroll down you'll see the estimated monthly cost so since this is the free tier it just explains to you what this is so you can get this free for 12 months um, and each calendar month the free tier will allow you to use the below resources for free so 750 hours hosted um, and like this means that it has to be active so you the, the database can actually spin down I believe just like the uh, EC2 instances and save you resources um, and then there's also the storage right because it's a database it needs to have space for storage so 20 gigabytes pretty that's pretty big for a free amount I would say so I'm just gonna create the database now And you'll see it's creating my database instance. Database one, because I didn't name it. <laughs> I already had another database created for a, uh, just a project that I have, but now we can just see it's been created. And um, I was just going to show one more thing. So if I do AWS free tier, This shows you the what you get with the free tier. So like I said, it gives you 750 hours per month of database usage. And you'll see that it says SQL Server, but as we saw before, that's not true. So you cannot get this for free, but the other ones, you can. So that's how you create a free MySQL Server database in AWS. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.